Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna do a video that I had a few of you request. I'm going to be doing my top five favorite products from my top three favorite brands. So if you wanna see what they are, then just keep watching. This video idea is inspired from Michelle Wong. She started off doing top five favorite products from her top five favorite brands. And I originally was going to do that, but I got my first three brands down. I know my first three brands right away. And then it almost felt like adding in two more was just kind of like, Eh, like I love these brands, but it's a little bit easier for me to choose I don't know quite as much about the makeup line But for the three brands I chose today I've tried pretty much everything that the brand has to offer I own pretty much everything that the brand has to offer So it really was a no-brainer with these three I thought I'd just keep it to these three if I am going to continue with this series I'm gonna change it to top three from three brands But for now these are my top three favorite brands like I said I've tried everything from the brands so I really narrowed wrote it down. Now I could have done top three from these three, but I'm not trying to give myself a heart attack here from the stress. So we're going to keep it at five to these three brands. The three brands that I chose today are Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, and Charlotte Tilbury. By far, without a doubt, these are my three favorite makeup brands in the industry. I just, they have some of my absolute favorite products, particularly Charlotte Tilbury and Pat McGrath. You'll see that I had a really hard time. So we're actually going to get started with Natasha Denona. So Natasha Denona, for me, she has her target products that she's really, really amazing at that leads her brand to be one of my favorites. However, I'm not a big fan of her complexion products such as foundation, concealer, powder, all of that. Not the biggest fans. For me, where she does her best work is going to be in her powder products, particularly eyeshadows and powder cheek products. But I do have a couple lip products in my top five choices. So we're gonna start off with eyeshadow palettes. Now, it was hard for me not to choose five eyeshadow palettes for this, but I want some variety here. So I picked out my top two of the moment. I feel like my favorite eyeshadow palettes change every day. If I were to film this video tomorrow, the palettes that I chose probably wouldn't have been the same. So we're gonna start off with the one that I think you guys knew I was gonna talk about and was going to be in this video, but I cannot live or breathe. <laughs> facts without my Natasha Denona Glam palette. This is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette from her. I'm leaving out the gold palette. I really love the gold palette a lot, but this changed the game for me. It's my favorite neutral eyeshadow palette really to ever have come out as far as something that leans more cool. There are some neutral, neutral tones in here, but for the most part, this palette filled a void in my heart that I felt the makeup industry didn't have when this palette came out. She might as well have named it the Morgan Turner palette because I couldn't have created a better palette myself. I love the quality. I love the colors in here. I'm, I'm sure this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but for me, I love these. And every video that I talk about this, I have to fight myself not to wear it in the video because I've done so many looks with this already that I need to share the love a little bit. So let's talk about the palette that I shared the love with and that I'm wearing on my eyes today. For me, this is a staple product from Natasha. Natasha Denona. It's just the one that I always think of when I think of Natasha Denona that started her brand for me. She has so many amazing eyeshadow palettes. This one is an OG and in reality I probably wear her other eyeshadow palettes more but we cannot get better than this formula in my opinion and that's the Natasha Denona 28 Pam palette. I have mine in the shade right now purple blue. Sometimes I like the brown and green better but as of now I am liking the purple blue palette better. I did the most simple look today though. I just used this in the crease and then I used this shade all over the lid and then I used this shade right here as a highlight shade but I love this palette. I love how many shades there are and the quality in here I swear it is better than her newer eyeshadow palettes. Like this palette in the brown green, I believe is what it is, have the best formulas in her line. And I'm really, really worried that she's phasing these out. And I really hope that's not the case because the quality of these are just so good. This began the brand, you know, so I had to put it in this video. Next up, I have a cheek item and ugh. 
Natasha Denona has such great highlighters. It really hurt me not to put her highlighters in here. But this one, I haven't heard people talk about a ton lately. It's an older product. But I really have a deep affection for the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. She's come out with more of these cheek quads since releasing this one. This one was the first one, but none of them have quite reached the level of this one in my opinion. In fact, the ones that she's come out with have never really been in love with the color story like I've been with this one. I don't really use the glow shade right here. Not my cup of tea, but I love this cream blush and it's so versatile on so many different skin tones. You'll see in my demo really, really, really bright. I accidentally applied too much, but you'll also see how easily it blended down and how pretty of a color color it is. Love it. It's a beautiful formula. And she never put this cream formula again in any of her other cheek quads and I am devastated. Okay? I love this. I use the Duo Glow kind of right on top to bridge between my highlight and my blush. And then I use this Glow Extreme highlight right here to give me the glow. And I just, I love how my cheek looks. In my opinion, this is the best cheek palette that she has. It's so good. It's one of my favorites from her brand. I love Natasha's lipsticks. She has top two favorite formulas. The other formula I will talk about in a moment, maybe top three. Anyways, one of my all-time favorite formulas at the very least. Her lipstick formula is so creamy. It's so smooth. Do be careful though because it will melt easily in heat but I love them. They're so comfortable on the lips. So I have two shades that I wear consistently. So I'm not cheating. I'm not counting them as one. I'm counting them as two. We're three out of five. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the one that I'm wearing. This came out for her Valentine's Day collection this year. This is the I Need a Nude Lipstick in Amorosa. I love purple eyeshadow if you're new to my channel. And this to me is the perfect purple eyeshadow lipstick. Okay? It just, it goes good with whatever shade of purple you're wearing. I do not have another color like this in my collection. So if you are looking for a unique lipstick or a lipstick that looks good with purple looks and cool toned looks, highly recommend this one. And I think you will truly love her formula. It's the best. The other lipstick and also one of my top five products from Natasha Denona is the lipstick in the shade Natasha. Now mine is all messed up. It got melted. Remember I said be careful. It like it's come look at this <laughs> She is she gone through it But I still continue to use her because this is the best lipstick for cool toned looks I for the longest time struggled when I created a gray look or a blue look what lipstick would look good this one is perfect. Again, just like the Amorosa, I do not have another lipstick shade quite like this. It's very light, so you definitely need a cooler toned, darker lip liner around the edges, but it complements blue looks. That for me is one of the trickiest color combos to get as far as eyeshadow and lipstick. It's not too peachy, it's not too warm, it's just that perfect neutral tone to kind of not wipe out your lips, but it keeps the focus on the eyes. So those are my top five products from Natasha Denona today. Like I said, tomorrow, if I were to film this, who knows what I would have picked, but I love these products, they're awesome. Some other noteworthy products because I have to cheat and give honorable mentions. Her lip liners are great. All of her eyeshadows are great. Like the majority of them, you know, gold palette, it hurt my heart not to put that one in here. I, I love her highlights. Okay done cheating, let's move on to the next brand, Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath, as far as eyeshadow palettes, has my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. She creates the best. But be her eyeshadows are so great that I often overlook how amazing the rest of her line is as well. She is a very well-rounded brand of genuinely great products that I use as everyday staples in my routine. As much as I wanted to put five Mothership palettes in this, I limited myself to just one. This isn't my favorite Mothership palette. I mean, it is technically right now. It's probably my most used Mothership palette over the last year, making it my number one eyeshadow palette right now. Depending on my mood, I would have picked a different one, but my most used eyeshadow palette from her is the Pat McGrath Mothership Divine Rose 2. As far as everyday wear and the colors that I've been wearing lately, I've been grabbing for this one the most. It's a pinky rosy toned palette, as you can see. We also have some fun pops. I love using this as a 
highlights. I love using this as a blush. I love all of the tones and the colors in here. So for me, this is my top palette of the current moment. It is absolutely amazing. I reach for it all the time. And I almost want to stop talking about it because it's stressing me out because I can think of a billion other palettes in my drawer right behind me right now that I also want to feature in my top five. But <sighs> as much as I wanted to put more eyeshadow palettes, in with the Pat McGrath stuff. It really is true that the rest of her line also incredible. So let's talk about the first complexion product which is her concealer. I have her concealer in actually four shades. I just grabbed three, but that should tell you something. I use LM9 for my under eye and I use LM12 for spot concealing. And then I have a couple other shades just to mix with depending on the time of year. I love this concealer. It wears the best. It also provides the best amount of coverage because I find a lot of full coverage concealers, they don't tend to wear well because they're so thick. This is a concealer that wears well, it covers well. It is thicker, but it doesn't look thick on the skin. It does what it's supposed to do as a concealer, and it really is one of my all-time favorites. She killed it with her concealer formula. I don't know how she did it. I use these regularly in my everyday routine, so I had to feature them in this video. The next product Product is what I used to set my concealer. Oh, this one is so good. This is her under eye setting powder. I like the shade light to set my under eyes and then I'll also use the shade medium to set all over the face. This is one of the most blurring powders in my collection. I mean, I've talked about this product quite a lot so I don't want to harp on it too much, but just know it's worth it. The packaging is quite cheap and this breaks all the time. Don't travel with this, it will get everywhere and I have to repurchase these all the time because I break them. And normally that would make me very angry and make me not want to repurchase it, but the product works so well that I don't care. I will have this forever in my collection. It's one of the best setting powders ever, particularly for the under eyes because it's very thin. It's not going to cake up the concealer. Highly recommend it. Continuing on with um, Kissing Pat McGrath's but her lip liner formula is incredible. My most used shade from her is the shade Contour. I have mine like flat to a little stub right now, but this is the most universal shade. It's a neutral pinky brown, but it definitely leans more of a cooler brown. Oh my gosh, this goes with everything and it makes your lips look humongous. Adding that grayish brown shadow around the edges of the lips makes your lips look bigger because it makes it look like your lips are coming out and that you can see the shadow underneath making your lips look more plump. It's amazing for the cooler tone lipsticks that I just previously recommended, but you can really wear this with any lipstick shade because it really just shapes and defines the lips and you can put whatever you want on top. Not to mention her formula is so easy to apply and it lasts forever. It's amazing to me how this can be so creamy, but also stays for such a long time. Normally something's gotta give with such a smooth lip liner, not with this one. It's awesome. And my final product that I love from Pat McGrath is the lip gloss in the shade Dare to Bear. This is such a juicy looking lip gloss. I'm actually not wearing lip gloss, so let me put it on so you can see the magic. I love this color. It fills in the lines on the lips to make your lips just look more full and luscious. It's not sticky at all. It has the prettiest, prettiest glow to the lips. Makes them look plump, but again, my favorite part is really how it sinks into the lines on the lips and just fills them in. Makes your lips look so much more full. This is my favorite color, just given with the other types of colors that I typically wear. But any of her lip glosses are phenomenal. Now let me cheat for a second and tell you all of the things that I wish I could have added. I love her mascara. I love her eyeliner. I love her blushes. And then the eyeshadow palettes are the big thing that I'm just like really unsure about. Like I just want you to know she has the best eyeshadow palettes ever. You need every single mothership palette. Okay, I've said my piece. We're gonna move on to the final brand which is Charlotte Tilbury. Now Charlotte Tilbury to me is such a special brand because she has a way of creating my everyday staples. So this one was a really hard one because there are so many staples in her line that I use every single day. I think if I could only pick one brand to use for the rest of my life, 
it would probably be Charlotte Tilbury. Pat McGrath, she's really squaring it out with Charlotte. Like, it's a pretty close battle. But I think Charlotte has more of my staple products than Pat McGrath. So I have to give it to Charlotte. But that made it that much harder to pick these five items. It really, really did. But let's just do it. Okay, we're gonna start off with complexion. I couldn't bear this video without mentioning the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powders. Oh, huh, that's a long name. I didn't even know they were really called that. But anyways, you know I love something when I buy them in multiple shades. Typically, I do set with the shade Fair. I just feel like it brightens up the center of my face, which is typically where I set. But if I'm setting my entire face, I'm using the shade Medium. And over the years, this powder has grown on me. I remember the first time that I bought these, Actually, the medium was the first one that I bought. I was like, it's nice, but I never really was too into it. I think now that I've tried more and more and more products and my makeup preferences have changed, I've really realized the true beauty of this product. First of all, you can never over apply it. You can never apply it too many times. This is my favorite blotting powder. I like to take this with me in my purse because no matter how many times throughout the day you reset your face, you get those oils to dry down, it never looks too cakey. You don't feel the need to remove any of the makeup underneath and start fresh every time you use this. So as a touch-up powder, it's amazing. Now recently, over the last couple of years, I've really learned that I do also love this to set my makeup as well. It really is a smoothing powder. It's so fine, but I feel like it also does kind of conceal pores a little bit and just finishes off the makeup, makes it look better. So this is another staple product as like how it compares to the Pat McGrath, very different. The Pat McGrath feels a little bit more slick and maybe silica-y. This one is a little bit more robust. You know, it's really going to soak up the oils. This one just finishes off the skin, sets the makeup really light, lightly, blurs it. This one, I feel like it fills in the skin. It sucks in the oils. Really nice. They both have their place in my everyday routine. The next complexion product that I have is a highlight and unfortunately you can't get this anymore. But let me tell you, I did not stop talking about this over the holiday season because I made sure if you wanted it, you were gonna buy it, okay? Because it was limited edition. So hopefully if you wanted it, you got it and loved it as much as I did. Editor's note, I just realized the highlight is still available on the Charlotte Tilbury website. So I think it's gonna be one of those things that once they get rid of their stock, they're done with it. So I really like it. This is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. This is the best highlighter. I, I don't know, it blends in with my skin. Okay, it just makes me look beautiful and glowy. There's something so interesting about the finish of this powder in that I feel like it improves my skin, it makes my skin look more smooth, which is very, very rare for a highlighter to do. It goes against the grain of what a highlighter is. Oh, but it's so pretty. I just, it looks so smooth on the skin. It's a top five product from Charlotte Tilbury, so I was gonna mention it. We have a new product, okay? This is a product that I tried in the last couple of months and I can't seem to put it down. I mean, I forced myself to, but if I didn't have to try so much makeup, I would have hit pan on this already. <laughs> this is the Instant Look of Love in a palette, Pretty Blushed Beauty. Ugh, I love this. These are my kind of shades. Again, I do prefer more cool toned or neutral shades. And this is just the perfect Charlotte Tilbury palette because Charlotte Tilbury has a look. Okay, when you invest in her brand, typically you're looking for that glowy supermodel kind of look. I feel like this palette gives that look to me and it gives me a little bit of everything. It has the perfect layout. It actually has that powder that I was just talking about in here, right here. It has a nice, respectable bronzer. It has a glowy pinky blush which just livens up the face. It has a beautiful highlighter. It has a glittery shade that's like a little bit peachy to make the eye glow. It has a neutral cool toned brown shade, kind of taupey, and then just a nice solid brown shade to contour the eye with. And I just feel so glowy like an angel, like Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah. I love this so much. Now she also did come out with the glowing beauty. I've talked about a lot about these palettes just because I've been loving them, but there is a version that does work pretty well for medium to deep skin tones if you're interested. But if you are around my skin tone and you tend to like the looks that I like, this pretty blush beauty, unbeatable. I 
Love it. It has quickly become one of my favorite products from the brand. Next up, we have a lip liner. And to me, this is the perfect everyday lip liner. Charlotte Tilbury also has a phenomenal formula. Again, it's it's squaring up with the Pat McGrath. So she calls these her lip cheats. And I particularly love the shade Super Size Me. It's kind of like a my lip color, but better. It's just a little bit deeper than my natural lip color, which I like because it makes my lips stand out. I love to do just a little bit of overlining with this and it makes my lips look naturally fuller It brightens up my face because a lot of times I do prefer a lip that almost mutes the color of my lips Like right now you see I like nudes a lot, but for every day I'm not into the muting my lip out. I really like making my lips look luscious and healthy and colorful but still natural just juicy this is what this does for me so it's a my lip color but better lip liner it makes my lips look so full and uh, it's just it's gorgeous and you can see how that differs from the contour shade all right lastly let's talk about my good luck lipstick this lipstick and i have been through a lot together charlotte tilbury again well She's fighting with Natasha Denona for this title. But Charlotte Tilbury has my favorite lipstick formula. The Kissing formula in particular, I think is my actual all-time favorite lipstick formula. Her matte formula, fabulous. But the Kissing formula for me is what stands out. It's a more shiny based lipstick. It's not going to be matte. It's more hydrating in my opinion. But the shade Hepburn Honey, which I do believe has a different name. So I'm going to put it right here. But... I have the one that's called Hepburn Honey. This lipstick and I, we've been through it. I've gone to job interviews with this. I've gone to important days in my life with this. It's my good luck lipstick. And it's like a honey beige, honey nude kind of color. It's a little bit deeper. I also really love Nude Kate, side note. That's another lipstick that I love. But this is my favorite everyday beigey kind of nude. For a while, this was all that I was wearing. I mean... I don't know, I really, really love it. I think it's one of the best nudes out there and I highly recommend it. So that was my last product. Again, let me cheat. I love Nude Kate lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. Really any of the kissing formulas. What else? Uh, she has a couple quads that I really like. I like her foundation a lot. Her bronzer, I'm actually wearing her bronzer right now. Fabulous. Again, just overall, oh! The Flawless Filters, fabulous. Oh, just such a good, well-rounded brand with so many of my staple products. But there we have it. Those were my top five products for my top three favorite brands. Let me know if you are interested in me continuing this series. I think I'm gonna transition to a top three from three brands format. But this one was harder because I've tried so much from these lines that Doing three would have been way too much on my mental health. <laughs> uh, but I think, you know what, from now on, I can do top three from my three. So what I need from you guys, if you are interested in seeing more from this series, comment down below the next brands that you want me to cover. You guys know I've tried a lot of brands, so I'm already thinking of a few that I could talk about. But there we have it. That's all I have for today's video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.